Ooh, that is some kind of messed up thing. Oh my god, it's not even- it's the intro. Holy crap. <laughs> this game is so good. Holy moly. Oh my god. Wow. I definitely handled that poorly, but I wasn't about to promise not to go after Crane. That's some kind of BS. And I figured they would be bluffing. You know? Because even though they have guns, it's still two of them versus like five of us. But uh, they weren't bluffing. <laughs> Rip, Holly. Rip. Eleven forty-three p.m. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Big B, Doctor Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I all had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar. She lives! In Springwater. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Living in moderation. Well. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. I didn't promise. I just said I'd Business try. office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B. Mm hmm. So, yeah. to recap. Oh, good. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. <laughs> about Damn it, Buffkin. Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean... This is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Girl! Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. I don't know about the other girls, but he what definitely murdered her. What isn't adding up for her. me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering yeah. prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Thanks for tonight, by the way. That you could have gone him. really terribly... I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? Of course, girl. It's kind of personal. Oh. And uh -huh. I don't want to offend you. What's on your mind? After tonight. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, uh -huh. it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Well, 
I never. Because it gives you an excuse to. <laughs> so what if I do? Just, you know, stop uh, pretending. Uh, no. Oh, I'm not answering. I couldn't choose. I'm sorry. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know how to answer that. Ah, uh, guys. We because have he probably does. What is it? I can't and finish the doesn't. mirror. It's missing a piece. Of course it is. What do you mean, missing a piece? He probably yes, has a... it's a... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Buffkin! It can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Huh? What, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What exactly is the hard way? Yeah, what do you mean? We'll what look do you for mean? his things, his desk, everything. Clues. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Okay, Buffkin, what was your idea? Also, just so we have a couple of options on the table. Let's be real. Um, which is why I'm going to talk to Buffkin. Hello? What was your idea? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Hmm. His witch? Good yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. What does that mean? Uh... Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. No. <laughs> it is, but you know. <laughs> we'll just exit. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Yelling at him now does not change what happened. And I'm sure he feels bad already. So. Snow. Buffkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch, his glamour witch. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Okay. See a key? Open. What is it? It's the key to his arms. room at the open arms. Mm -hmm. You still haven't told me what was in there. I'm not going to. I want to know. You don't want to know. I need to know. I think it's better if you don't know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. Bro, this will... Mm. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Yeah. <sighs> what else is there? What else is there? Tell me. Talk to me. Come on, on my shoulder. Fine. Updates on the extra funding I requested. As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit that I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority Waylon Smith oh the farm that's where people get sent uh, or where they have to live if they don't use glam like the glamours to make themselves look human like the animal people okay I'm writing to ask again that you please send some someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment, and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross, and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Boy Blue. Wow. A 
It's not cool, Ichabod Crane. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a good one. You said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together. Love, Mr. Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. AKA never. Open the drawer. Oh. There we go. The Office of Business. Blah, blah, blah. The same. Official Compendium of Authorized Articles. Oh. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? The king of... Blank. It's a ring, at least. Every magical oh, item ring? not retained in the, the armory ring. is assigned to someone in Cairn Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, Get I only recently heard about king. this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Bufkin! And I'm Fuck hungover. Yeah. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Yeah, relax, is the bro. Mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I try um, to, This isn't but... your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of That's my true. business? That's true. Sorry. Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, Maybe it's you. This just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Buffkin! A.M. <laughs> or P.M.? I don't know. <laughs> A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer <laughs> and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane That's is going to not see a witch, much. and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the well, mirror was the most relax, logical bro. thing. Bro. He's the sheriff, and none of you are chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Yeah. Well, Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Wow, bro. Mm -mm. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. <laughs> wow. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have weird. known who the witch was. <laughs> and I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? That's true. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, so... No, chances are you won't have time. Okay, whoa! I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. 
I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. True oh. that. Now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. I highly doubt Look, that. <laughs> this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Okay. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Oh, decisions. I hate decisions. Um, damn. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Oh my gosh. Okay, um... I feel like these two would, would be the best leads, personally. Um... And also... Um... I prefer for Bluebeard to end up going here than to either of these. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Snow's suggestion. We're gonna go to Holly's. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect, and I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. That's what you suggested! Oh my god. <laughs> what do you want from me, Snow? What do you want?